guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, so it's what you're working on Wednesday. So today I started a new whip. Actually, this morning I went to the eye doctor, got an eye exam, so soon I'll have some new glasses in like two weeks. These are the ones I always wear. I do have an extra pair that's like my backup glasses that are a different shape. But these are like my favorite ones because I like the bigger uh, lenses. But anyways, I'm getting two more new pairs. And uh, I'm pretty excited about them. <laughs> but anyways, uh, and then I came home and I finished sewing my bags for my update tomorrow. Nope, Friday. <laughs> uh, tomorrow I got to do the last finishing touches on them, which is like adding snaps and uh, the drawstrings to the one drawstring bag. And taking all the photos and all that stuff. I'm going to do that tomorrow. And then the show update will be Friday. But anyways, I started a new whip. Because I, I made a um, plant doily. Not, it's not marketed as a plant doily, but that's what I made it as to sit under my Swiss cheese plant, which is getting a new leaf. I'm super excited about that. Um, and then I, I have other potted plants because I'm a plant person. So I want to make more little doilies to put underneath my uh, plants just to make them look cute. You know, just adds something to it. <laughs> I'm a very eclectic person, as if you can't tell by the weirdness of my house and of me. <laughs> uh, I like a little bit of everything and I love color. So, um... Anyways, I went to my stash, which is getting pretty dwindled down, my solid colors. Because I'm trying hard not to buy any yarn. And I've just been using what I got. So I pulled out these two um, partial use skeins. I'm pretty sure they're both Red Heart Super Saver. This one is the minty one, I think. I made, I had a commission a year or two ago. Oh gosh, this might have been three years ago. To make a baby um, cozy thingy, you know, cocoon, cocoon. A baby cocoon <laughs> out of this color. It was one of those owl-shaped ones that was really popular a few years ago. And then this is just a random one. I don't know for sure if it's Red Heart. It seems like Red Heart. So I got my hair all over it. <laughs> but um, I'm not sure if I bought this or if I got it in a swap or something. But I thought they went really good together. I've been like eyeing them for a few days. And there's actually, there was a pink on top of them in my stash that looked really good too. But uh, I just pulled out these two colors to make another doily with. And I went on a hunt for a doily pattern. So I went to Sarah Satch's website, which is Posh Pooch Designs. And I was scrolling through her free um, pattern list that she has on there. And I found a few patterns I don't want to make. <laughs> but this one is the one I started. Uh, another one that I found that I want to make is a new one. This is actually listed as a new one too. Um, that is a bread basket. And I want to make that. It was so cute. I want to make it so bad. I think in brown tones. But anyways, sidetracking. So I started this one. This one's called the, I think it's called the Summer Flower Doily, I believe. Something like that. Uh, and it's just like a flower. Like, you're supposed to make it like the middle, like yellow. And then um, the outer parts like petals, colors. But I just pulled those two colors out because I thought they went good together. And I started this one. So I thought it was so pretty. So I'm just, every row I'm changing the color. From the minty one to the teal color and i'm using an h hook which is a five millimeter it's what the pattern calls for this is a clover amore i love these clover amores um but yeah and i'm just carrying my yarn because it's just for personal use uh it doesn't need to look pretty on the back so i'm just carrying it and then i will uh i will weave in these two ends the starting ends but then the rest of them will just be kind of hidden behind there because <laughs> it's just gonna be setting on something with the plants on top of it so no one will know it's there but me and you guys <laughs> so uh the pattern has, I think, seven rows. I'm on row five, so I almost finished it before I came in here to record. <laughs> um, but you can easily make it bigger by doing the same repeat. You just have to make these chain spaces bigger. It goes up because the first one, it was two, and this is three. And the next row, row six, it has four chains. So in theory, you could just keep making more chains, and it would be more lacy as it got bigger. But you could make it bigger if you wanted to. So I might make it bigger or this, it might end up a good size to go underneath my string of pearls um, plant. So we will see about that. I don't know. But I just thought I'd whip this up real quick because I don't really have anything else to do today. After I did my sewing, that was all I had planned to do today. Um, I am working on two other whips that are like secret behind the scenes whips because they are Stitch Your Stash and Stitch Your Library whips. The Stitch Your Library one is taking me forever. I don't know, I just haven't had like the oomph to work on it. So, I don't know when that's going to get done. But here's this one. And it's so cute. I think the colors look really nice together. Um, and there's a pink. It's not it's not Red Heart Light Raspberry. But it's similar to it. Uh, and I thought it looked good with this too. I've been like eyeing them for a while. They're just all piled in there together. And I thought they'd be cute together. So, I might. I'll definitely have yarn left over. So, I might try to make something with those three colors together. But I think it's turned out really cute. It's like I said, you know, I love Sarah Satch's patterns. They have never steered me wrong. <laughs> she makes the cutest things and they're always quick 
and you can just whip them out <laughs> and i'm definitely gonna go back and make that bread basket i have it still pulled up on my phone in my um you know the little internet on the phone um so i'm probably gonna save that and make it too because it'd be cute with like biscuits and stuff in it uh, on the dinner table but i think this is turned out really cute i could see myself making a bunch of these you could even make them look like flowers and make like a pennant banner button whatever <laughs> with it um would be cute for spring and summer but that's what i'm working on this wednesday so let me know down below what you guys are working on and uh, feel free to share any links or people's names and stuff and let me know what you're doing for dinner i have no idea what i'm doing for dinner i didn't think to lay out meat this morning so we'll have to have something meatless which we did last night i made pizza well i mean it had pepperonis on it but it wasn't like meat you have to thaw out and cook <laughs> um so I'm gonna have to make something like that, or we might end up getting something out. Shouldn't, but who knows. <laughs> but, uh, so let me know what you're having for dinner. Let me know what you're working on. And I will for sure see you guys in another video Friday announcing the shop update. Uh, nope, tomorrow. I'll do that tomorrow. And then Friday will be the shop update. Um, but I'm sure I'll have some more videos coming out. <laughs> but, uh, and I'm wearing another crochet sweater today. I love my crochet sweaters. <laughs> this is an Everyday Cardigan by Sorella. This one actually is a cardigan. It opens in the front. <laughs> and, um, it is made with Mandala Ombre Happy. I think I used four skeins, four cakes. Three and a half, four, somewhere around there cakes in it i like it a lot this is a really good sweater i have two of these that i made this one i have like a gold mustardy color that i wear like in the winter time um i just i did have to alter the sleeves i always have to alter the sleeves on every sweater i make um because it would have been really long and like down to my knees and i think i did decrease them a little bit more to make it a snugger sleeve i can't remember it's been a while <laughs> since i made this but i love it because it's rainbow and it's just pretty i love it a lot but i'm wearing it because it's a little chilly in the house but yeah, so I guess that's everything. My hair is like so frizzy lately because I've been losing hair from having the baby. I mean, I can run my fingers through my hair and it's like a glob of hair. And so now I'm getting all these little fuzzies, which my hair is frizzy anyways, but now it's like even worse than usual. <laughs> but I'm trying to let my hair grow out. I don't know if you've noticed it. I used to always get my hair cut like here. If you guys have watched me, because I've been doing this for five years. Um, a lot of y'all have been here the whole time. I usually get it shorter length, but I'm trying to let it grow out because I miss having my hair long. But my hair is really thick. It's half up right now, but it's like really thick. I can't braid it. It looks stupid. It's really fat and looks stupid. So, um, yesterday I was trying to do a messy bun. And, uh, I don't know how people do messy buns to make them look good, but still messy. Mine just looked horrible. Every time I did it, it just looked stupid. So, I gotta try to figure out what to do with my hair. Because I want to grow it out and let it be long. Because I like it. It just makes me feel more feminine and stuff. You know, I just like it long. But it gets so thick that it's hard to do anything with. Like, I end up just putting it up all the time. And it's, what's the point of having long hair if you just can wear it up all the time? But Sissy's definitely in the grabbing stage right now. So she keeps grabbing my hair and pulling it and Devin's beard. <laughs> and uh, she likes grabbing hold of like shirts and holding them. So I do wear my hair up or like this half up where I can keep it behind me when I'm dealing with her. But I like having it in front of me too because, you know, it looks nice. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I'm excited about my new glasses. Like I said, I got one frames is going to be gold. They're gold looking they're the same shape as these ones but they're gold and um they don't have these little wings on the side and the other one is black tortoise shell i think is what it was so it's like the regular tortoise shell but instead of being browns it's black and clear clearly white uh color so i'm excited about that and i might also get some more glasses soon because i actually had a company reach out to me to um they don't want me to make a video about the glasses but they want me to mention them in a video so i thought i would actually do that because i could always use new glasses because i'm a glasses person <laughs> and um that relates to crochet because you have to be able to see or i do to crochet i know there are some people who are visually impaired and um they do crochet as well but um anyways i don't like doing videos for sponsored things because uh usually the things that contact me aren't relatable to crochet like i got a lingerie company once and a desk fan and um just some random stuff <laughs> um and then one time actually recently hobie 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 contacted me about uh doing videos for him but they had a lot of like stipulations on their videos and i just can't do that right now like it required doing tutorials and stuff and i can't do that with the baby um so i actually 
turn them down, <laughs> which hurts because they would have sent me yarn for free. But and I've never had Hobie yarn, I don't think, unless someone gives it to me. So that sucked. But I, I know I wouldn't have the time to make um, tutorial videos and stuff. So I just I just had to turn it down. But it's okay. <laughs> but anyways, I'm blabbing now. So I'm gonna hop off here and get this edited because Sissy was asleep when I came in here, but she's probably awake by now because she always does that. Um, I gotta figure out what to make for dinner. It's like two something, three. It's right around three, I think. So um, I gotta figure that out. It's so late in the day already. I don't know what I have that I can make that's not got meat in it. I mean, we have pasta and stuff, but I don't know if Devin will want that. <laughs> we'll have to. I just have to talk to him and see. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna hop off here and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna make the video f announcement for the bags. I'll show you all the bags when I get the, the um, snaps and stuff put in them. Um, and I might make another crochet video. I should get a package tomorrow from Doris where we switched yarns. I sent her, um, my knit crates, my last two knit crates. Uh, and she's sending me something. So it's always a surprise to see what she sent me. So I might show that to you guys if it comes tomorrow. It's supposed to come tomorrow. Um, I don't know. I'll see you when I see you, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna hop off here, though. And I'll link that pattern down below, the doily. And I'll also link this down below if you guys want to check it out. But, um, I love these sweaters. I love making crochet sweaters. I'm working on my new one that's retro striped. Here I go talking again. <laughs> but, um, I'm probably gonna start some more. I wanna make some summer tops, but I don't have large quantities of cotton yarn that goes together. I have, like, some random of the, the little ball cake things, but I need some like Karen cotton and stuff. I need to buy some of that. That's in cakes, the big cakes. So I can make some summery tops. But I just don't typically buy cotton. So I need to like go, I'm trying not to buy cotton. I'll have to see if someone wants to switch some cotton cakes with me or something with some stuff that I got. I got a big bag over here. I'm not gonna show you because this room is a huge mess <laughs> of yarn that, um, is yarn that I love obviously because it's yarn, <laughs> but it's not yarn that I've, I've obviously not used it because it's in a big bag. That's the bag that I found underneath Jesse's bed when we were cleaning his room. <laughs> Um, so I need to like dig some of that out and swap it with somebody for some cotton cakes or something. But anyways, I'm just gonna say her blab if I keep, and I did hear baby crying. Je Devin is in there though. So I'm gonna hop off here and get this edited and I'll see you guys in another video at some point. <laughs> Bye guys.